Welcome to Red Carpet. We are so excited to be here tonight to celebrate the world premiere of Sarah's War. It might be cold out here, but the stars and all the celebrities are about to arrive on this red carpet and I'll be talking to every single one of them, bringing you all the inside scoops, gossip and entertainment right here. So I'm here with the absolute star of the film, Lily Smith. Lily, congratulations. Ah, are you really excited? Yeah, very excited to see the whole thing through now because obviously we've been doing it over quite a long uh, space of time. So we've seen all, some of the bits individually, but we haven't seen it all strung together yet. So, Do you, do you feel a bit nervous? A bit, yeah. I think it's always always slightly nervous to you know see yourself and see yourself up on the big screen as well and see everything put together but good I mean, you've got 90 yeah 90 percent screen time it's epic yeah. it's yeah. so cool honestly watching you i was so impressed i was like this girl is so talented um and you know having gone to Guildford school of acting and now being at the world premiere in Guildford, how does that feel yeah, lovely lovely it's so nice to be back in a town where you you know it's meant so much to you and you spent so much of your time on a really important thing as well so when georgia and i were coming down from the train station we were going oh and do you remember when we used to go there and there and there and there so yeah and you two are you two are arch rivals in the in the film yeah. And then um, I loved hearing that because you guys are actually best, best mates in yeah, real life. Yeah, definitely <laughs> friends in real life, definitely. But yeah, she's the bully kind of in the scene, yeah. so, so to say. Yeah. So it's been two years since it got from um, script to screen. Yeah. And I wondered how you got into character, how you prepared for the role. Well, it was quite a tricky one, actually, really, because obviously filming over quite a long time in short segments of a lot of space in between as well, continuities quite a hard thing both physically keeping yourself looking the same is one thing no haircut change no you know nothing but also uh, following the continuity of your character's story arc is difficult when you you know more challenging when you've got the spaces in between and doing different bits over a long space of time so I think for me for preparation the main thing was just where she come from and where she going into this next scene. So I think that's the most important for this project. Yeah. Yeah. Because it does it has got quite a tonal change from being really dramatic at the start to then becoming a bit more of a love story and finally ending up with a kiss, which I was waiting for for the entire entire performance. Um, but do you have any favourite moments from the film? Um, I I have to say I did love filming on the boat, definitely. That was such an amazing thing to do because it's not every day that you get to film on a 1930s boat, so that was amazing because it's a, the real genuine boat from the 1930s as well, so it was amazing. And I got to drive the boat as well for a little bit and didn't crash, so yeah, that was great. So that was so different and interesting. I love that. Amazing. Well, you look gorgeous um, and enjoy your evening. It's your night. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. <laughs> so I'm here with one of the leading stars of Sarah's War. Um, can you tell me a bit about how you got your role in the film? Yeah, so it was, it was actually um, through a friend from uni, uh, from the Guildford School of Acting, where Lily and I trained. And uh, he basically got me the audition and he was like, well, he knew that I was a German speaker. So, and you know, the, the role required that. Um, so yeah, he got me the audition and then uh, I came to Guildford to audition for it. Um, and yeah, I was actually auditioning with four different Sarahs, but Lily wasn't one of them. So I just went through uh, the, yeah, the material quite a few times. Was it, was it a tough audition? Um, it, was a, it was a fun audition. It was, uh, it was from the later part of the film that we did that first and then we actually did the mine bit um, for people who haven't seen the, the film you know it's a, it's a bit where it gets really dramatic um, so that was fun yeah, it was yeah because in this film um, I heard that you you filmed it all you know throughout the two years at different stages and your character really transforms from being you know a really quite angry aggressive person to then being really lovely and um, was it hard you know keeping the continuity when you couldn't film it in chronological order so we filmed the sec second half first, so um, it was 
I got a nice in, I'd say, because it was quite, you know, like you get the softer side of Klaus. Um, but then it was really fun to get to the gritty part. So I was always looking forward. I was scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing. <laughs> and um, what's your favourite part of the film? I think it is the, the bit on the boat, the bit where it can be like really aggressive and basically really German. It's quite fun to do that, yeah. And tell me a bit more about your German accent, how you got into your character in the role. Well, so I'm Austrian, you know, I grew up speaking German. Um, but it, Austrians are quite different from the Germans. So for this part, I, I just had to do a bit of research really and, and really get into that period. Um, and I had to change my accent quite a bit because I, you know, as you can probably hear, don't have that strong of a German accent. <laughs> so, you know, I had to practice a little bit. And um, any other challenges? Yeah, I heard that filming on the boat was really hard because there was zero space and you could hardly breathe. Is that true? It is true. I mean, because it, it, it was filmed on a real boat. So, um, you know, it's really narrow and, uh, and then you have to sort of check where, where the camera is, where the lights are, so you don't get anything. So it was really constrained, but in a way that added to the, the situation, you know, because it's so, they, they're under a lot of pressure. And I think that, yeah, that was really good, actually, it helped the character. And how was working with Brian as director? It was fun. It was, <laughs> it was really good. Um, he really... Um, he gave us a lot of time and a lot of freedom and yeah so it was really lovely it was very constructive amazing well thank you so much and enjoy this evening have a wonderful night thank you so can you tell me about your role in the film well i'm not going to give too much away um <laughs> because in some ways i'm seen as the the nasty one the difficult one but actually at the end of the day he's just somebody who's doing his job um and he's also got to very much take care of Sarah and things that happen and sometimes tough decisions have to be made but I kind of feel I'm a bit the nasty one. Right. And how did you prepare for your role being the nasty one? Um, I've quite often played roles as nasty people um, so yeah you can turn it on and off that's what us actors have to do. <laughs> oh well thank you so much for your time and enjoy your premiere. Thank you very much. Well guys you won't believe it but we have with, uh, with us the star of the show, the boat owner. Can you tell me a bit about your boat? <laughs> um, the, uh, my boat is, uh, is built in the 1920s. Uh, it's an old wooden boat. Uh, it's got two engines. Only one of them works uh, particularly well. But uh, it was good fun and we had a, we had a good time. And uh, here tonight to see, see what it all what, what looks like. <laughs> and how did your boat get to star in this film? Why, how did they find you? Um, Brian approached uh, a boat club, which I'm a member of, and um, they sent his request round, and I said, yes, let's have, a, let's have a go. It was something a bit different, something I hadn't been involved in before, so we thought we'd give it a go. And do you think you'll um, have more movies shot on it now? Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so if you're watching, yeah, yeah. Come on. Any other film directors for World War films, this is your boatman. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Enjoy. Lovely. Um, so, your character is quite a tricky and mean person, would you say? Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, she's not very nice. <laughs> uh, it was great because Lily uh, rang me up and said there's a part uh, that she, she thought I'd be good for, and then when I read it, I was like, oh, she is, Lil. You think I'm a horrible person? <laughs> um, but yeah, she's not very nice at all. No. But you had a, such fun on set, obviously, putting this together and filming it. Yeah, it's great because Lily's one of my best friends. Uh, got to be with Lily a lot, so um, just was mean to Lily yeah. <laughs> in between yeah. takes. Classic friendship goals right there. Then I had to buy her lots of things to apologise. So <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> So I'm here with Teo, the cinematographer, very talented, thought the scenes were beautiful. I have. I had a, uh, yeah, I had a preview before the world premiere. Lucky me. Even I didn't get one. Oh, well, you're going to really enjoy it. Um, so how did you um, set the themes and the lighting? What was your vision for the film? So the film, I went for a very classic World War II sort of style. And um, it's, yeah, I think it's... It came out the way I wanted it to, visually, um, and yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing the final grade and edit and everything to see if it's really come out that way. Yeah. Do you have a favourite scene which you had like planned and really set all the themes for? Um, I did really like the tribunal scene. Yeah. Um, for me, that was quite interesting, uh, quite tricky as well, battling 
uh, battling the sunlight coming in, sort of controlling the lighting. Thank you so much for your time, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to be a sensational night. It will. And, um, yes, yeah. Really looking forward to it. How are you feeling, though? Are you excited? Um, excited, yes. Very, very excited indeed, actually. The writer, uh, the all director. Of our, all of our good friends are here. Yep. Very special friends have come to support it all. And everyone involved in the production is here. Um, so it should be a great night. Yay! I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Bring you. it on. <laughs> Yay! done a staggering job. I'm very impressed. And it looks amazing on the big screen. Absolutely fantastic. And the actors are coming over brilliantly. Some superb acting going on there. Well, I'm actually thoroughly enjoying it. I've been really impressed by a lot of the, the camera angles, especially the script work and production, you know, from especially from a first-time film, I think it's a phenomenal piece. Well, it's got action, passion. It's got a, you know, Jolly good cast, obviously. And what did you think of the film? Oh, very good so far. Very impressed. Well, I'm immensely proud, but I'm immensely proud of our wonderful team, actually, who, who have been so fantastic, because it is quite a small group of people who have actually made this film. In the same scene, there was a rather heartless inmate played by Georgina Uh, supported 
our creative endeavours. On behalf of the entire team, and I would ask all of our lovely team to come onto the stage, please, uh, just for the last bow. Uh, and thank you for coming, and hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Well, I'm not about this. It's unscripted, unplanned. But what I wanted to say on behalf of Surrey Board and Movie Makers was, this has been such bloody good fun. <laughs> it really has. Um, it's been a terrific pleasure. Really wonderful to work with these people as well. Great fun for us as as the old men of, <laughs> of film, but we've really enjoyed it. Thank you, Brian, it's been terrific, absolutely terrific. <laughs> The level of detail, all the little bits of inspiration, some fantastic dialogue, especially on the beach. It was really, really good. Thoroughly enjoy it from beginning to end. Well, I think it's been a fantastic night and uh, lots to take in. I uh, didn't expect the Oscars night, didn't expect the outtakes. Um, so all the bonus to the evening and uh, yeah, fantastic evening. So as the credits roll, Brian O'Connell is so, so thrilled to have completed his first debut of his film, Sarah's War. Wow, what an evening it's been. The red carpet has rolled and the stars and the cast have arrived and given me some phenomenal interviews. It's been a sensational evening and everyone here is very, very proud.